Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita, and today on Witches Unite, I am giving advice on grinding XP even while playing from home, and even if your home does not provide any traces on the map. This video will go through different skills that you should upgrade in your SOS training to help you grind XP from home, and it will also include a very shortened version of me playing Wizards Unite for 30 minutes with a tonic for trace detection, just so you can see how much XP is possible to gain in 30 minutes. And if you notice that my backdrop is a little different, that's because I am filming at my in-law's house. This is my father-in-law's home office. He has graciously allowed me to set up for the week. Also, I am filming this on two separate days, and it turns out the filming that I did with the Tonic for Trace Detection was with the manual focus setting in my camera. So I am probably blurry. I haven't looked at that clip yet, uh, but I can't reshoot that. Just so y'all know why that part of the video is blurry. I'm also wearing two different pink tank tops. So this one is the Wootuber Naughty Pink Tank Top from Stitches and Witches. Her tea, string, her tea Spring Shop will be in the description down below. The other pink tank top featured is the Wizards Unite Hub tank top. Uh, that shop will also be linked in the description down below. One of my very first Wizards Unite YouTube videos was about grinding XP. Of course, that was in summer 2019 when life was a lot different than it is today. In that video, I walked around a Simon Mall, a local outlet mall to me, and saw how much XP I could gain in 30 minutes while using a brain elixir. Well, a year later, life is a little different. A lot of us are playing the game from home. Luckily, Wizards Unite has adapted the game to make it easier to play at home. We also have the new SOS training with the many exciting skill trees that allow us to customize our gameplay experience. If you are hoping to level up quickly, it's easier than it's ever been before, assuming you make the most strategic decisions with your time and with your resources in the SOS training. Here are the categories of lessons I have invested my resources in that helped me with my extensive XP grind most recently. The first are the treasure trunks. You can get wizarding XP by investing in these treasure trunk uh, reward upgrades. Basically, when you level up in your exploration registry, you earn more wizarding XP. At this point in time, I am earning 800 wizarding XP every single time I level up. This is pretty sweet. At the moment, Brain Elixir does not affect this XP, but honestly, 800 XP on a pretty regular basis. Not complaining. <laughs> Brain Elixir, that is something else that you want to improve. You can improve the duration of your Brain Elixir. My Brain Elixir is currently at 40 minutes. I unlocked two separate skills that gave me an additional five minutes each. You also want to improve your brain elixir potency. Normally, brain elixir gives you double XP when, when you're using it. However, I have invested in multiple skills that make my brain elixir even more potent. So you will see on my screen how potent my brain elixir is because off the top of my head, I don't remember. <laughs> Your tonic for trace detection. You also want to improve your tonic for trace detection. Normally, like when tonic trace detection was first introduced, 
you only got 15 traces in 30 minutes. However, the game developers have updated that so that you get 30 traces in 30 minutes to facilitate playing from home. You can improve that by getting additional traces in the 30 minute duration. At this point, I get 34 traces from each tonic for trace detection. Finally, you want to improve your trace charm, particularly in regards to getting more XP, you want to improve the efficacy. That's because with the efficacy, each use of the trace charm reveals a larger quantity of traces on the map. And of course, when you then return each of those foundables, you will get even more XP. I thought it would be fun to show how quickly you can grind XP even from your house, even if you have very little on the map. As you can see, there are only three traces on the map where I am right now, and one thing is spell energy and uh, some, some watering cans. So I'm going to check my starting XP here. You can see I'm at level 48, and I'm at, let's see, 341,017 out of 600,000. That is my, my start. And let's, let me see if I can move my little recorder button over to the side <laughs> so I don't accidentally close off my screen recording because that would be bad. All right, I'm going to pop on a tonic for trace detection and a brain elixir and we're gonna see what happens. Granted, I am filming during the wizarding weekend, so of course, we have plenty of extra foundables that are boosted and options to earn even more XP. But as a rural player myself, I do want to create content for other rural players who maybe don't get a lot of activity at their houses. I'm actually at my in-laws house right now. I get a lot more activity at my house. They live in Bluffton, Ohio, which is a pretty small town. They live in a cute little neighborhood and there is not a lot going on in the neighborhood. Uh, there is a college campus nearby, which is really nice because that is a great place to play Wizards <laughs> Unite. But if we're just comparing at home to at home activity, my house in super rural Georgia provides more um, traces on the map than they get here in Bluffton, Ohio. So in between traces, I'm going to do the good old standby and open a port key. It's a brilliant port key, so not really a lot of XP most likely. Oh, I really do need to film the inside of this one. Um, I've been trying to film different port key locations for Instagram. This is, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. I assume this is the leaky cauldron. Yeah, there's a nice big cauldron. And this looks so much like the leaky cauldron at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So, a little bit of XP, not a huge amount, but every little bit helps if you are grinding for XP. So, check to see what new traces I have on the map. Okay. So this is easily the best way to grind XP. If you don't have a lot of brain elixirs, then you will want to wait for an event that has high threat level boosted traces. So this is a red beam that is boosted. And instead of immediately going for it, I'm gonna use one of my trace charms. And then I get a whole bunch more. So first up, let's use the one for the tonic for trace detection. Just so it doesn't accidentally fade away. Let's 
place my image. Oof. Sorry, y'all, there are bugs out here. Level up, level up, level up, level up. So we're about to do this a lot, y'all. In fact, I see some music and some dancing coming. XP basically just from one foundable because all of the others were from my trace charm. So if you haven't already invested in the trace charm, do that. Okay, another break between foundables on the map, and you can see I still have more than half an hour left on my brain elixir. Oh, well, there's a new foundable. <laughs> So I'm going to go to my gifts. I like to start at the bottom because those are the ones where I have sent them gifts so I don't have to feel guilty about not being caught up. So brain elixir gift, lots of extra XP. That's a really nice gift. So thank you Glim Starlight for that one. That's super sweet. Um, I think that I, yeah, okay, I'm full on cell energy right now. So I'm just going through my gifts uh, while the brain elixir is going can't open spell energy and then if I'm not if I have not exchanged a gift with them I'm only going to open it if it's extravagant because the XP is nice but it's not or essential um, I try to be somewhat balanced in giving out gifts so I'm just gonna open up like I said um, any of the fancy ones. Ooh, extravagant ingredient gift. That's nice. Thank you very much. Just, ooh, that's from my twin brother, Aristotle. Um, if any of you need a new friend, he could probably use new friends in the game. But yeah, I hate, I just, I hate being not equal in giving out gifts. So. Cool. Okay, so I will open those gifts at another time when I am able to better reciprocate. Of course, if you like super duper need to grind XP, just go ahead and open 20 gifts regardless of whether or not you can reciprocate. While I wait for something to appear on the map, I do just want to point out just how utterly barren this map is and how rural or small town my in-laws house is for playing Wizards Unite. I still managed to get my 50,000 XP for the Wizarding Weekend event in my first 35 minutes of playing the event because of everything that I am demonstrating in this video. The combination of tonic for trace detection that gives additional traces. Mine currently gives 34 traces. The extended Berufio's Brain Elixir, mine lasts 40 minutes instead of 30 minutes. And then also the extended XP. I get, I think, an extra 50% XP. Um, I will double check that and put that somewhere on my screen. So all of these things add up so that you can grind XP fairly quickly. And then of course, 
the strategic use of the trace charm as previously demonstrated. All right, y'all, here is another opportunity to use my trace charm and gain a ton of XP, not to mention field guides and ministry manuals. Bada boom. Again, I feel some music and some dancing coming on. for trace detection has run out uh, I'm not entirely sure anything else is going to show up here in the next five minutes and 30 seconds of my brain looks here so oh, let's let's check on my registry NBD I do like to grind the ruins chambers with old brilliant rune stones to get gifts that I'm not always like totally behind in what I have given other people. All right, so current tally on XP is 394,611 out of 600,000. I will do math and show you guys just how much XP I managed to gain in about 35 minutes. All right, that is about all that I have for y'all today. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Tell me what SOS training skills uh, are you most appreciating in the game? Which ones are you saving up to purchase next time? What is it like when you play from home? Do you have tons of traces all around you, kind of like Dan and I have at our actual house? Or is your home a little bit more like Bluffton, Ohio, where I am right now, with very, very few <laughs> traces on the map? I am eager to know about your life and your game style, so leave a comment and tell me a little bit about you and your Wizards Unite journey. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. By the time you watch this, I might be at a thousand subscribers, but at the time of filming, I am hovering around 995. I will be doing a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers for some very cool Hogwarts house bookmarks. You do not want to miss out on that magical action. And, you know, if you are not disturbed by notifications, you should ring the notification bell to find out every time I have a new Wizards Unite video uploaded on my channel. As mentioned before, uh, the t-shirts, the tank tops featured in this video, you can buy both of them in links in the description down below. I am wearing a size small, just for reference. Since it is unisex sizing, it does run a little large uh, for women, just to help you with your purchasing decision. All right, that is all that I have for y'all today. Until next time, au revoir, witches. So, you wanna come say hi to the video? I can say hi to the video. It's right here.
Oh, are you recording now? Yes, I'm recording now. I'm recording I, you the- You messing with it. I thought you stopped. Oh, it turned itself off, so I had to turn it back on. Oh. I might edit this out, or maybe this will go in the bloopers. Hi, y'all. I told y'all, he I, he saw him walk down in the kitchen. I wasn't sure if he would come out here or not. I guess he did, well, so. I have to check on her every once in a while, make sure she's still alive. Yeah, that that's a good policy with our two nephews running around because they are... They're boxing right now. Oh, and By great. boxing, I mean great. they're climbing into a giant cardboard box. Oh, that actually sounds like fun. Yep, they wouldn't let me in the box. So, oh, so. they're not sharing? Only two allowed in the ring, apparently. Don't they know that sharing is caring? All right. Okay.